Yes, guys, so we have finally made a signing. Finally something decent for me to talk about. I've been waiting for so goddamn long. I've been talking so much shit for so many weeks because I've been waiting for so long. But, anyway, <laughs> I did make a video earlier today and I hinted in that video that we are edging towards two or three signings over this next week. And I also did say that it would be highly unlikely that we'd get one today. Or I wouldn't expect one today. And then literally five minutes after that video was uploaded onto YouTube, I got the notification that we'd signed a Mr. Connor McLaughlin. Now, Connor McLaughlin, he is a right back. He's a Northern Irish international. He uh, he did he was playing for Millwall, which was released. He didn't get too many games last season, but he's played for Millwall for the last two seasons. He's had uh, time with Fleetwood in League One. He's had time with Shrewsbury as well in the lower leagues. And he's been playing for Preston as well earlier in his career. He's a solid right back, <clears throat> relatively decent player. Um, he will be coming, I presume, on a free because he was released by uh, by Millwall. So, you know, I think a decent level uh, player there. It's someone who is, is an international. Of course, he didn't get a massive amount of games last season. But if you think, you know, we only have Luke 09, really. You can play a right back. And that isn't even his natural position. So, get one, someone who's a bit solid. You know, he's six foot. You know, he's not like a big pacey sort of wing back as, as you'd expect he's not he's just very very solid and that is something that I've really wanted for quite some time in the sort of wing back position it's nice to have the likes of Oviedo on the left who you know he can bomb down and make these crosses and stuff like that he's a bit different he's a bit more just of a no nonsense uh, right back which is something I like and, I, and it'll suit this league it's not a sort of pretty right back he's the nitty gritty well and I, I think it's a decent signing to start us off and uh he seemed like, just in his first interview there, and uh, he seems like he needed no convincing. You could tell that he seems like he has, a, he has a very decent attitude about him. He knows the scale of the job. Uh, so I'm, so that is our first signing. It is a right back, and I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. You know, I, I was expecting it to be a goalkeeper, the first signing, but I am happy with him. I am very, very happy with him, particularly he has League One experience. Um, will he blow league one away probably not but we, we need players in that position so I, th I think it's a really good acquisition it's currently the first of july and it's our first signing so i'm hoping that we do see a flurry of signings come through now and uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm really pleased with that of course as i say we do only have luke onine who is playing out of position at right back there at the minute so does that mean that we will see luke onine push forward into midfield which is something i do want to see although i do like uh, luke onine at right back i mean he kept Adam Matthews out of the position, and you know it wasn't even his first sort of natural position, was it? So uh, you know I, I'm I'm happy with that, but I'd like I would like to see Luke Onine move into the midfield and give us a bit more of an attacking flair about him because he he definitely gives us something different in midfield. Maybe that's something uh, to think about. So I don't know whether that will be our right backs complete now. Whether Jack Ross will think you know okay I've got Luke. And I've got McLaughlin there. Will McLaughlin now become our first choice right back? Or will he just chop and change between O'Neill and uh, uh, McLaughlin? Should we, we shall see. Like I say, that was just a quick one. I'm just letting you guys know, keeping you updated. I would have added this onto the previous video, but of course it didn't happen. And I was kind of expe expecting it to happen or wanting that to happen then. But uh, but that's it, guys. What do you think of that? What do you think of the signing Conor McLaughlin? I like his last name as well because, of course, our goalkeeper, our favourite, on one of my favourites on the plays right now, John McLaughlin, he shares the last name. It's the same last name, so... I don't know, I'm clutching at straws here, aren't I? But what do you think about this signing? Let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this little video, I know it's extremely small, but... That's just the way it is, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jammy.